Welcome to The Nail Engineer and today we're here with the lovely Katie who has got this lovely teal and gold deco inspired manicure which she's been waiting to get her hands on <laughs> for ages because she's been working um, for a, a famous perfumer who only let her have nude or red nails <gasps> with all my colours. Yes, it's criminal. So um, we have got on here a bit of stamping and all of the stamping that you see here is actually from the Moyu Holy Shapes range and I'll show you that in a moment and we've got Evening Teal by Madame Glam and that's this lovely colour and that is on the thumb, the pinky and the middle finger. On the ring finger and the pointer we've got this one which the Christmas fairy, I guess that would be Santa, um, brought me and it's called It's Not You, It's Me. This gorgeous large hex small hex and i think it's 0.8 um glitter and you can see it's this lovely kind of emerald dark emerald forest green that co coordinates really really nicely with the evening teal and we've also got a little bit of um glittery emerald in there on this nail here which is actually a negative space um and i'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment but first off, let's run through the plates. We've got two sh the two Holy Shapes uh, Moyu plates, number 19 and number 5. And we have used this little triangle image, both for stamping on the pinky and also to create the negative space um, on the pointer finger. And then the other images that we have on Katie's middle finger, you'll see this image here and that's actually this with the triangles picked off because one it was a little bit too small for the nail because she's got rather nice long fingernails at the moment oh my goodness katie how on earth did you grow them was it the gel bottle yes <laughs> anyway that's another story and then on the thumb oh i didn't show you her lovely thumb or maybe i did we've got this design here if the camera will focus hello and that's this one here so um stamping i have done in nails ink lanesborough place using my clear jelly stamper and now let's move on to the negative space for the negative space what i've done is i have taken that same image from the moyu plate that's stamped on the pinky and i've stamped it on just katie's well, I would say bare nail, but this is just with her um, gel bottle ink um, builder in a bottle um, strengthening base. And what I've done is I've stamped it on the nail and then I've taken just some regular striping tape ta -da, and just used the, the, the crappiest colour that you've got because this is like disposable. Um, I just put that on the nail and then because it's been a little while since I prepped this nail uh, let's just have a little wee swipe over trying very carefully not to dislodge my little papers and then basically all I'm going to do is apply a couple of thin coats over that striping tape and the reason that I stamp underneath it's twofold one it gives you a guide yeah you could freehand it because it's not rocket science this this particular shape um but the other reason is because i want it to want to come off the nail if that makes sense so i want it to like have a reason not to stick so well to the nail and i figured if there's something on there underneath and it can't be persuaded to come up um I might be able to use just like a little bit of nail polish remover to kind of like strip it off and because there's something underneath on the nail that's not actually the nail itself it might make it a bit easier but certainly I didn't have much problems pulling um, pulling up the little pieces now just be careful that you don't get like a, a jagged edge when you do this and just have a good look around all around the nail before you put it into cure okay these two coats are all cured up and we're ready for the big reveal and i do hope that this works as nicely as it did on the other one um you might feel that a bit of resistance but just persist there's one bit off and if you can see there's like a tiny little strip that's just gone back on the nail don't worry about that 
you can just lift it off. Easy peasy. And similarly, oh, this one's a little bit more uh, stubborn. So if you just carefully remove, it's really, I know it's really hard for you to see there because this stuff is so shiny. Um, but you just carefully remove those tiny little bits of flash until you're pretty sure that you've got a clear area. Once you've removed all of your stuff, um, I've just got a little spot here of Glittery Emerald by Madame Glam. And I'm using a teeny, teeny, tiny little brush. And trying not to be nervous, even though I'm on camera. Because I need a nice, steady hand to just fill in that channel. Just like that and you can do this in a couple of passes because sometimes it's better to err on the side of caution and put less on at first because you can always go back and add more later and just like that so what I'll do is I will cure that and then I might well build it up just with another layer. So I've got the same amount of product there as on the rest of the nail. Um, but that's it in a nutshell. It's pretty simple, but very effective. So I put in the extra little bit of glittery emerald and top coated and cured KD. So that nail's all done and we can move on to the stamping. So, um, first off, let's do the easy peasy one, which is the little baby finger. And so we're Holy Shapes number 19, this image here. And this one I have found swipes either way, um, but I just find the fill is a little bit better on the image if I go from the base of the triangle up to the top. And that's it picked up there quite nicely and just take off any excess because obviously I want the rest of the nail to be naked and just have this cute little triangle on it also done this um this image on a, a rose gold mani it was just like a nice uh neutral color one of um the Madame Glam one steps called um Oh, what was it? Simple tan? Yeah, simple tan. And it looked really, really nice with rose gold coloured polish. So that's it on the nail there. Just to smoosh it down, lift off, and there it is. And if you've got any little bits around the edges, you know the drill. Just give them a little scrape with your orange stick while they're still fresh and they come right away. So let's move on to the middle finger now. And that's this one here on Holy Shapes 5. And with this one, you kind of need to swipe it on either diagonal. Otherwise, you will get some voids in the image. So there it is there. And what we don't want are those big triangles. So I'm just going to remove those. And remember that this image is a little bit small for Katie's nail. So I'm being careful as well to look around the outside for any little stray bits of gold that I don't want on the nail. So I'm going to have to um, do this one off camera a bit just so that I can see it because this one's a bit tricky to place. I just use the usual technique of going to the edge of the nail and then kind of like walking it backwards a bit. Now you can see, look how it's gone a bit wiggly there. But if you look real careful, it's not actually on the nail. So when this happens, sometimes you can fix it by just being super careful with your orange stick and just trying to squish it into place where it should be. 
So let's just do Katie Thumb here and this one you can swipe from top to bottom but you might get a little void in the base of your triangle so I tend to go just a little bit diagonal, not full diagonal, kind of 50% diagonal let's call it. So let's just take my excess off ta -ta -ta, and then get the thumb. As you may uh, infer from my tone this is not the first time I've tried to do this now because everything is going peak tongue today. Anyway, let's just, uh, so you can see it, I have lined it up slightly off camera so that it's all in the middle. Yay! So Katie's all uh, queued up on her stamping and top coated and now I'm just going in with some um, rubber top coat from the Gel Bottle Inks Builder in a Bottle set um, just over this ring finger to create the by now signature paperweight now and I'm using this lovely glitter from Busy Nails I'll put a link um, she's a, an eBay seller I'll put a link in the description in the comments below um, but I was meant to have a gold mix as well called latest antique gold and I was going to mix them together but my delivery didn't come in time so that was unfun so all I've done is I've just put a bunch of it, just dropped it over and I'll just shake off any excess because what we want is we want a few bits of that lovely gold kind of peeking through and I'm just going to use an orange stick to take off a few bits just so that we'll have a bit of space. And what I'll do is once I've got all my bits in a position that I'm happy with, Oh, camera not focusing. Too much sparkle. Um, once I'm happy with the positioning of all my bits of glitter, I'll be curing it, just flash curing it for 20 seconds or so, just to keep all that glitter in place. And then put layering over so that it kind of creates a dome, like a paperweight. Um, a bit more of the gel bottle ink rubber top. Let's get rid of all of those there. So yes, it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit painstaking, but just slowly, slowly you kind of nudge the bits of glitter around the nail to get that kind of distribution. And here's one that I made earlier. So you can see there we've got nice distribution with just a few gaps. I've got her paperweight nail all encapsulated and I can feel all over the surface of the nail that there's no little jagged edges sticking up. Now um, you can see that there's a couple of little wiggly bits but the awesome thing about this rubber top coat is you can just give it a little file. I'm just using um, a pre-softened um, 180 grit and you can just use this to just refine around the edges and stop it from being so thick at the edge. Just kind of refine it down. And then you go all over with like a buffing block just to make sure you haven't got any like scratchies in there. And then you can apply another coat of top coat just to get a really, really nice smooth finish. So here's the finished look and you can see on Katie's lovely, lovely fingers, she's got her little triangle stamped evening teal fingers and then her paperweight nails and then her negative space gold, um, it's not you, it's me and sparkly emerald nails and that's a wrap. So I hope you enjoyed this money. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.